Hey, welcome to the third tutorial on utilizing Google Drive. The first tutorial was more of an informational what Google Drive is and how do you get started with it, how do you create an account, a, a Google account or a Gmail account, and how do you kind of get started and upload files to your Google Drive. In the second tutorial, we showed you how you can use Google Drive and create various types of documents in, uh, in the vein of the Office platform. So how you can create Word documents, PowerPoint documents, Excel spreadsheets right in Google Drive without even having to have the software. So this is the third tutorial out of four and in this one we're going to talk about one of the really powerful tools within Google Drive and that is how do you share files and folders. So we're going to get started with that. Okay, so sharing files and folders using Google Drive. As I've said in the previous um, video trainings, I like to use the activity section rather than my drive. Um, I think it's more effective and those of you that are old Google Docs users, this is normally known as the home page area. It's called activity now. Your screen might look like this with all of the files that you have in here or it might look like this. This is the grid format versus the list format. It doesn't matter which format you're in. Depends on what you like to work in. I like to work in the grid format, but most people like to work in the list format. So I'm going to show you that. So basically all of the files that you have are listed here. Um, we'll talk about the little file structure here. Obviously this is a Word document. This is a file that's been uh, converted. So there's, this is a Google Docs type of a document, but it is a word processing document. And we'll talk about that a little bit later. So in order to share some items with people, there's basically two things or two ways that you go about doing this. You can share with another Google Docs user or Google Drive user. So in other words, you can share it with people that already have a Google account or a Gmail account. If you want people to do editing and that type of a thing and you want to work on projects in a collaborative fashion, then they're going to need to have a Google Drive um, account, a Google account or a Google Gmail account in order to be able to do that. Otherwise, all they're going to be able to do is, is kind of read-only type of a thing. So they're going to want to have a Google account. But there's going to be certain people who you just want to show them something, you want to share some document, and so they don't have a Google account. Uh, I'll show you how to share it with them. So in any one of these particular files that you would like to share, say we want to share this master budget one, you're going to either uh, right click on your mouse in a window environment or command click on anywhere in this yellow box of your file and you're going to get this drop down menu and one of the choices a little bit of the way down is called share and so once you kind of hover your mouse over the share you're going to get this exploded out little menu to the side and it'll either be the left side or the right side depending on where you're at and what part of the screen you're looking at how big your screen is at the time and so you got a couple of choices here we're going to take just a brief minute to talk about the three of them uh, email as an attachment that third choice there that's what you're going to want to use if you're working with a non-google user or somebody that you're not sure has a google account you are going to actually going to take this attachment. There's going to be a link that's created, and you can email that link to the individual just by incorporating their email address and sending this particular file, and they'll they'll then have access to it. Again, all they can do is is see it. They can't actually do anything um, as far as editing and so forth. So let's first talk about if you do have somebody who is um, you know is a Google user. They have the Google account and they're ready to go. We're going to talk about sharing that. Before we get to that point, I want to talk about the middle one, email collaborators. Where this comes into play is let's say we're working with a bunch of other Google Doc users and we're collaborating on a project, some type of file or folder with all kinds of things that we're working on. And if you yourself as one of the collaborators, you make a change on something that you want to make everybody aware of. What you're going to do is you're going to go to the email collaborators and what it's done is it's taken this particular document or information that you are working on and you just add the particular folks down here in your group collaboration or if you already have a group that it's been shared with 
you will be able to identify them and you're just going to hit share and save and notify people by email. Um, you're not necessarily doing anything. There's no changes happening here. All you're doing is saying, hey, folks, you might want to check out uh, this. There's also a little dialog box that pops up as well, too, so you can add a little message. Hey, you know, check this out. So in this particular case, again, we want to deal with, uh, first of all, I'm going to show you how you work with folks who are already um, Google Docs users. So at this point, we're going to click on Share and then Share again. And so here's we have uh, what we have from an ownership perspective. So here's a link if we wanted to share it uh, with collaborators. Only collaborators can access this. We can invite people. We can change ownership if there's somebody in there who is already part uh, of an ownership. We can change that kind of thing. And if you're one of the editors of those particular documents, in other words, if you have edit privileges, you can go down here to change and change that information. So let's say I wanted to share this stuff with another Google Docs user. I could share it and send it. Say I'm done. Now if I go to my Gmail account, it's loading. Hey, I've just shared that master budget with me. So I have the ability to view it. And there's the document pulled up on the screen. I can print it. I can do all kinds of things. I can do some editing with it. I can add some comments, um, send it back. Right now, I'm the only person other than the one who originally owns the document but I have the ability to, to change that uh, to change that if I want. So let's get back to uh, Google here. I'm going to go back to my Google Drive spot. So there was that particular document that we were playing with was the master budget again. So that's how easy it is to share a document. Again, that's with Google users. If you didn't have a Google user that you wanted to share the document with, or you weren't sure that they were a Google user, again, go to Share. And I, I just either right-clicked, if I'm a Windows user, I right-clicked on anywhere in this yellow box. Once you identify what the file is, you see how all of these yellow boxes pop up. So I just right-click on that yellow box. If I'm a Windows user, if I'm a Mac user, I can use Command. Click to uh, get that particular spot open, or if you have a Windows mouse that you're using, you, again, will just right-click. And so, again, I'm going to go to Share. This time, I'm not going to go to the second Share. I'm going to go to Email as Attachment. Okay, so now um, I get the two. That's pretty simple. It's who we want to send this item to that we may or may not know has a Google account. Whoops. Gmail.com. And I'm going to put the message in. Uh, here is the document I wanted you to see. But this is the most important choice here, and that is to attach as. Uh, HTML, you're probably not want to, going to go that way. That's computer code language. Open document, this is the open office platform. Again, probably not going to want to go that way. If uh, you're not sure that the person is going to be able to handle some of the fancy um, formatting and whatever, you could save it as a, an RTF or rich test file. But probably more often than not, you're either going to save it as a PDF or probably Word. In this case, this is a Word document. So saving it as a Microsoft Word document is probably going to be your best choice. If you save it as a PDF and you send it to them, there's nothing they, that they can do with it. One of the interesting aspects of even if you have not given them various types of permissions in order to edit, if they have read-only permission, if you send it to them as a Word document, they can actually um, open that up and uh, make a copy of that document, and then they have the ability to edit it in their copy. They just can't edit the original. You also have the ability to send a copy to myself if I wanted to, so I'm going to make it a Microsoft Word document as the format that I'm going to send. Uh, for whatever reason, I don't feel like I need to have a copy sent to myself, so I'm just going to do send. It sends as an attachment. That's the file that went. I can open up my Gmail again. And lo and behold, uh, there it is. 
So again, very, very simple. You can see that there's an attachment right there. A person can then open that up. So I'm going to go back to my Google Drive since that's where we're at. Okay, so that's the basic setup for how you're going to um, share files. Now, there's also the ability to share a folder. And there's a couple of different ways to do this. One of the things that you might want to do is create a new folder. You could give your new folder a name. Create that folder. And then I have this share folder with Bob. I can actually just take and move that file right into the folder. I just kind of dragged it in. And so now I can share this folder. And you're basically going to do the uh, shared aspect the same way. You click on the drop down, there's the share, and again, you're going to be able to share folders. You can't email an entire folder to a non Google user, so another reason to have the people you collaborate with make sure that they have a Gmail or a Google account, and then you would go through the process the same way, and you could share that particular setup. So that's the share aspect uh, on a folder. Okay, and finally, one last thing I want to show you how you can set permissions for um, items that you're going to share. So let's, uh, let's go to this warranty document here. Again, going to go to share, and we'll hit the share so that we're going to send it to uh, everybody. So I'm going to put in my email address of whoever I want to share it with, and we're going to pick this person right here. Now, next, just to the right of this box, there's this Can Edit, and it's a drop-down, so it gives you three choices. You can either select Can View, which means all they can do is see it. It's like a read-only document. Can Comment is the same thing. They can see it, but there's also the ability to make some comments, to insert some comments that the other people that they're sharing with can see those comments and decide whether or not they want to um, you utilize any of that information and actually edit or change the things. And then finally you can give them full permission of can edit. So if we're going to give that person the, the edit capabil eh, capabilities, we can go ahead and, and share that. The other thing that you can do is once you have it shared, these are all the people that we have shared this. This is the person who's the owner. This is the person that we've shared it with. And again, you can change any of those things at any time. So that's one of the choices that you may want to have. You can actually remove these people from that particular change uh, at any time. You can decide to say, we no longer want to have this person. He's already done some editing. He's not part of that project anymore. We can actually uh, delete that kind of a concept. We can decide whether we want to save the changes or not. If we go back to this individual here who's the owner, we can talk about changing some things here. Editors are allowed to add people and change permissions. Only the owner can change permissions. We can kind of decide how we want that thing to go and then set it up from here. There's also the private. You can decide that different ways to support that with other people who you may want to give access to. So that's pretty much it. It's relatively easy to set those permissions once you've taken that file and decided who you're going to share it with. So hopefully this has provided you enough information to show you uh, how easy it is to share both files and folders and that you'll be able to do this with relative ease in a very short period of time as you practice and utilize Google Drive a little bit more. Thanks.